Hi everyone, hope you're having a blessed day today. It's beautiful over here, so I'm outside. And um, kind of like at a park um, down the street from where I live. It's just, it's just a picture perfect day here in Massachusetts. I just wanted to um, come on here briefly and just emphasize uh, the importance of um, praying in your prayer language. Um, the Lord put it on my heart. Um, there's so many things to be praying about. Uh, people have a lot of things uh, in their hearts, and we know what's going on in the news. Uh, Israel certainly is in the news. Uh, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, as of Psalm 122 especially. Uh, Psalm, Psalm 122, 6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. And there's so much stuff going on in the southern part of um, Israel right now with the rockets in Gaza. And so uh, we are spending time praying. But if you don't know what to pray or if everything is just, uh, you know, if you're feeling like, you know, like me, uh, having a, a bit of grief because we know that, we know that a lot of things are going to happen. Destruction, chaos is, is coming. We're, we're not going to escape that. We've been warned, you know, plenty. The Lord announces things, and He recently announced, you know, a lot of things. Um, one of them was, you know, the United States was going to be without. We don't know exactly when it's going to be. I remember putting out um, something I interpreted and read from um, Great Miracles Avenue. I love that channel. It tells us all these uh, dreams, dreams and visions from others, and a lot of them are from Africa. They are male servants and female servants who have been serving for a long time to the Lord over there. So I just wanted to give a plug for that channel. Um, and, you know, so my point being is that all these things are happening, things happening in the news. Uh, announcements have been made. Um, if you're not paying attention, it's going to go over your head. So, uh, you know, where I'm retired, I can pray all the time. I can pray in tongues all the time. If I'm walking down the street, if when I get up in the morning, before I go to bed, etc. But for all you out there um, who are working, etc., you can always pray in tongues. But if you have a break or have a chance, or when you get in your car, it's a great time to be praying in tongues because the Lord has made it known that this is the perfect prayer. You're praying from your heart, and the Lord hears us from our heart. So um, I just wanted to get on briefly and just mention that, basically. Um, there are overwhelming things happening right now, overwhelming things. Um, we have no say except to pray. And um, again, um, praying in tongues in your prayer language is the best thing. If you don't have a prayer language, you can still pray. As long as we're living still in the age of His grace, right we are still living in the age of his grace right here and now uh, it's not the great tribulation yet so um, he hears us and he considers our prayers I always pray Romans 9 15 all the time pray for his mercies because he is the one who has compassion on whoever he has compassion on if you're praying for your family still um, friends relatives you know kids whatever it is um, but if you don't have if you don't have a prayer language, you know you can just bow your head and heart and say, Lord, uh, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable to you, Lord. I don't know what to pray, Lord. I don't have tongues, Lord. Um, you know, you know, and then continue and just and just speak your and then speak your heart, speak what's on your mind. Um, but if you're praying in tongues, the Lord quickly picks up on what you're saying in your heart. So I just wanted to come on briefly. I know that pretty much all of you already out there know that um, a lot of stuff is happening on many different levels in our world. So I hope you have a great, blessed afternoon, everybody. Uh, comments are welcome. Edifying comments are welcome. And prayer requests always. Thank you and have a blessed evening, everyone.